I can say anything I want up here at the Kennedy Center. But this is a song, this is a, you know, I'm, I'm known for, uh, in some camps and quarters, for autobiographical stuff, uh, written songs about my swinging life, for my whole damn swinging life. Uh, here's a song that, that uh, I wrote. Uh, 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 it's about a time that I, I can barely remember. In fact, I don't remember at all uh, that, that time. This is a song called Tar Heel. So I, I hear they just got beat the other night. Thank you for that smattering of something. <laughs> anyway, I was born in North Carolina, and... Uh, and uh, I, uh, I was recently, for, uh, in October, last October, I was inducted into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. Well, it's about damn time, ladies and gentlemen. You know, they inducted James Taylor about 15 years ago. But anyway, I, um, I'm, in the, I'm in the Hall of Fame. All you have to have done is to be born there, basically. That's the only criteria, but uh, I was born there, uh, and then we moved, and this song talks about that early, my, my most er early, pretty formative years. A Tar Heel, yeah, a native of North Carolina. Does anybody know what a, uh, what a, uh, what a, what a, what a, what a boniker is? Wow. You don't know what a boniker is. Good. I'll tell you. A boniker is a native of East Hampton, New York. So you learned something today. <laughs> Down in Carolina, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. It's hot down there in the summertime, but my folks still made love. With a baby due in eight weeks' time, there'd be pain, but also joy. The first kid for a couple of kids, and I was that baby boy. Down in Carolina, in a town called Chapel Hill. A couple of kids just starting out, just living life like young folks will. God's will, I was a boy, a breech baby son was born. I arrived ass backwards, 10 a.m. on a September morning. September 5th to be exact. Yeah, that's the date of my birth. Oh, I've been around for quite some time now, roaming all over God's earth. When I've had my share of living, try me a taste of death. And if I can't just keep breathing, I'll live until my last breath. Down in Carolina. That's where I'm thinking of. People played and made music down there for money, for fun, and for love. Earl Scruggs and John Coltrane, Nina Simone and Thelonious Monk, Charlie Poole and Joe Henry, Doc Watson and Parliament Funk. so long ago I can't trust my memory you might remember but you never quite know but I've seen faded snapshots of my parents way back then 
Just a couple of kids just starting out without a clue how it would end. I was two when we moved north when my dad started chasing his dreams. Moving up to New York City, all the way to Fresh Meadows and Queens. But when I consider my time down south, Carolina seems oh so real. Yeah, I'll be buried in East Hampton, New York, but I'm still a Tar Heel. Don't you dare call me a Boniker. I remain a Tar Heel. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I write. I have family songs. You're in a family, right? So, how's it going? That good, huh? Hey, and it's Easter, man. It's a, it's family time. <laughs> yeah. I need a family vacation I mean a family vacation alone I'm gonna pack up the car Load up the bike in the kayak Leave the fucking family at home A vacation away from the family Vacation away from the fray When it comes to your so-called loved ones sometimes you got to get away maybe i'll go to the mountains or else i'll get down to the shore yeah and i guess there's a chance i might miss my people but right now i can't stand them no more when i'm barbecuing there on my might be focused on my family then I'll throw down some hot dogs burgers and some chicken and I'll burn them all in effigy And relaxed will be the shape that I'm in Yeah, I'll be patient and loving Not to mention detached When I'm feeling, dealing with my kid And my kid We all need a family vacation You got to keep the mishpok at bay Tolstoy got it right when he wrote Each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way oh. Oh. I ran away from my parents I still run away from my kids As for Brother and sister, we're playing Twister. It's a cover-up to keep ourselves hid from each other. I need a family vacation. My family needs a vacation from me. Because your dearest and nearest, they're the most dangerous. They're the ones that make ya. Right, your nearest and dearest They're the most dangerous They're the ones that make you fucking crazy oh. 
Jean Paul Sartre said it. Hell is for other people. Uh, I'm not sure if, if you're, you're allowed to swear in federal buildings. <laughs> Within the site of the Washington Monument. But uh, it's too late. It already happened. Hey, let me show you this. You can't see this. It's far away, I know. This is, this is a T-shirt. Can you, can you read this? No nap, I'm crap. <laughs> this is the t-shirt that I, this is the merchandise that I'm selling this afternoon. <laughs> because the CDs are too heavy to schlep down here. Uh, uh, this, 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 um, uh, this is a quote from one of my fabulous songs. This is a song called Missing You. And I'll play that song for you now in hopes of stimulating t-shirt sales. <laughs> he don't stay out anymore. No more coming in past four. Most nights he turns in around 10. He's way too tired to pretend. You might find him up at three, but if he is, it's just a pee. Some nights he's awake till two. That's just cause he's missing you. He's lying there missing you. He don't sleep late anymore. Up like a farmer half past four. When that sleepy sun pops up He's halfway through his second cup His day's work is done round two That's when he starts in missing you Quarter to three, it's time to nap He always says, no nap, I'm crap His motto is, no nap, I'm crap I guess he's just set in his ways. He does the same damn things most days. The 724 is a week. With lots of downtime, so to speak. But he hardly glances at a clock since his routine is carved in rock. Man's a machine, what can he do? Keep right on going, missing you. Yeah, keep on going, missing you. His teeth fall out, so does his hair. In his dreams, you're always there, a jewel in his unconscious mind. A miracle, a precious find. But in the end, he's all alone. He wakes up and his jewel is gone. There's a heaven and he knows it's true. But he's back on earth just missing you. And it's hell on earth just missing you Back where he started Missing you <laughs> Missing you! I'll be back there with a Sharpie. And you didn't pay to get in today, so come on. <laughs> Here's another family song. There are pictures on the piano, pictures of the family. Mostly my kids, but there's an old picture of you and me. 
you were five and I was six. 1952. That was 70 years ago. How could it be true? We were sitting outside drawing at a table meant for cards. Must have been in autumn. Fallen leaves in the front yard. With a shoebox full of crayons, full of colors oh so bright. In a picture in a plastic frame. A snapshot black and white. You were looking at my paper, watching what I drew. It was natural, I was older, 13 more months than you. A brother and a sister, a little boy and girl. And whoever took that picture, they captured our own world. brother needs a sister to watch what he can do, to protect and to torture, to boss around is true. But a brother will defend her, for a sister's love is pure, because she thinks he's wonderful when he is not so sure. In the picture, there's a fender of our old Chevrolet, or Pontiac, our dad would know. Surely he could say. But dad is dead and we grow old. It's true that time flies by. In 70 years the world has changed. As well as you and I. Thank you, that's the picture, yeah. Yeah, I have a... Quite a, quite a family. Um, I'll stay with the family motif then. Uh, I was just in uh, in London. God, what day is it? It's, is it Saturday? We flew back on Thursday or something. I went over there to see my son Rufus perform. Uh, he didn't. He had. A, he has a musical that just opened in the West End. Yes, I know. <laughs> so I was there when Rufus was forty. I wrote this song, <laughs> uh, and uh, I'll play it for you. I knew your mother, let me be clear. We were lovers before you got here. Don't forget that I knew her when love was a means and you were the end. I still remember somebody who was amazing and crazy and somewhat like you I fell for your mother love made me a fool we were into each other till it came off the spool folks choose their parents some Buddhists say Maybe you picked us and we were your way In the biblical sense, I knew your mom Und it wasn't all Sturm Und it wasn't all Drang Having a father is the most dangerous game And when dad takes a powder it's always a shame I knew your mother and your mother knew me and as long as it lasted was how long it could be
Today's your birthday, and if truth be told, it has to be said, we're both a bit older. Yeah, happy birthday, but I want to be clear. I loved your mother, and that's why you're here. I knew your mother, let me be clear. We two were lovers before you got here. So don't forget that I knew her when love was the means and you were the end. Love was the means and you were the end. I knew your mother. Anybody here uh, under the age of eight? No kids are here? One, one kid? How old? Oh, nine. Okay, you're, you're borderline. <laughs> we don't believe in you-know-who, but we don't let the kids know it. We're parents who are grown-ups. There's a line where you have to tow it, but we're part of a conspiracy about this bearded, big, fat guy who isn't real, who never lived, who's old, but doesn't die. We went to the department store. We climbed out on that limb, told the kids that it was you-know-who. We said that bum was him. Then we placed them on his knee. To me, the knee seemed rather bony. Happily, they sat there, though, though chatting with that phony. <laughs> Told the kids we could provide the proof. <laughs> the deceit, how I hate it. We put out the milk and cookies. Yes, I admit, I drank and ate it. Then that fib about the North Pole, as if any elves could live there. We helped to write and, and, and send that letter knowing full well it went nowhere. You know who comes down the chimney. How could such a fat man fit? The whole thing is preposterous, yet we get children to buy it. We have no shame. The lies pile up. You'd think at least we'd balk when we sing of red-nosed reindeer and snowmen who dance and talk. Well, it's just a harmless story of fairy tales, some Christmas fun. Not unlike that other theory. The one about God's son, where angels talk to shepherds, wise men troop after a star, and a virgin has a baby. <laughs> Boy, that's fetched pretty far. But we adults, by that conspiracy, we tow and swallow that old line, disappearing milk and cookies. What about that bread and wine? <laughs> Hug a bum. It's enough to make you hesitate. It's enough to give you pause. Perhaps it's just as crucial. Kids believe in you know who. <laughs> what if this were my last Christmas? Then what would I do? Last call till the happiest time of the year is true. Through. Then no more Santa, no more Savior, no more cattle lowing, no pickup trucks and driveways wrapped up in a big red bow. What if this were my last Christmas? Then what would I think? All that Scrooge subterfuge, I wouldn't even blame. No more cookies, no more tinsel, no more stockings hung. No more wise men, no more virgin, silent night on sun.
But if this were my last Christmas, then what would I say? Peace on earth, what's that worth? War always wins the day. No more living, just keep killing till there's nothing left. Squandering God given, squandering God given, gives grand automatic theft. What if this were my last Christmas? How could I go on? Lay down and die, just say goodbye, going, going, gone. But Hazel's here, so yes, it's clear I'm blessed, I am not cursed. My granddaughter's second Christmas seems to me my very first. Yes, Hazel's here, it's very clear, we're blessed, we are not cursed. Hazel's second Christmas seems to us our very first. Thank you. All right. Um, somebody asked me to do uh, some things. Or w one, somebody wanted me to sing this song, and uh, uh, they gave me a $50 bill. <laughs> no, they didn't. They swore that they would buy a T-shirt. <laughs> they didn't do that either. But I I'm going to play it anyway, because it's somewhat... Uh, I don't know if prescient is the right word, but... Uh. Midnight, I called my mom on April Fool's Day morning. We two are close sometimes, I think, because I was breech born. The doctor reached inside of her, he turned me around and pulled me out. I emerged her bloody babe, his slap produced my shout. Twelve midnight, I telephoned on April Fool's Day morn. I told Mom I'd be home late. Then I hung up the horn. I went back to the party then. I got drunk with all the boys. Our florid faces shone so bright. We made a lot of noise. By 2 a.m. we all were drunk on April Fool's Day morn. We had insulted many folk and garnered plenty scorn. We boys, some girls, and some hangers on formed a jolly caravan. We headed for my canyon home to make our Fool's Day stand. Tempers flared and tears were shed on April Fool's Day morn. Tequila ripped and on the tear, my party shirt got torn. I tried to take a woman down right there on the bathroom floor. She refused, I threw her out, screaming bitch and whore. And one poor hanger on with a knife he was worn by 5 a.m. just three were left on April Fool's Day morn an English fool an Irish fool me their foolish Yankee host we said goodbye with downcast eyes then drank one final toast 
By 6 a.m. those two passed out on April Fool's Day morn. I drove to Santa Monica. A girl there got me warm. By 10 a.m. I was back home. I rousted out my half-dead friends. We said goodbye with downcast eyes. So sheepish in the end. My mother came out of her room on April Fool's Day morn. She spied her sorry breech-born son hungover and forlorn. I am too old, too large, too close to, to crawl up on my mother's knee. So eggs and bacon, coffee, toast, were placed in front of me. Thank you. Well, I, I suppose you need some cheering up after that last one. And I have just Security, get that child out of the building. <laughs> this is a ukulele, I'm sure you knew that. But uh, here's something I wonder if you know, or someone that I wonder if you know about. He's a great American. Speaking of, oh man, speaking of the Mark Twain whatever, are you guys hip to uh, Tom Lehrer? <laughs> Tom Lehrer is one of the greatest songwriters uh, and singers, and uh, he was also a, a mathematics teacher for years and years. Uh, he's still a, with us. He lives in Cambridge. I think he's, he might be in his late 90s, and uh, when, my, when I was growing up, my dad in the late 50s had those 10-inch Tom Lehrer live recordings, and I studied them, and I think... Uh, play one of those songs for you. Tom Lehrer songs. From the Bible to the popular song, there's one theme that we find all along. Of all ideals we hail as good, the most sublime is motherhood. There was a man, though, who it seems, once carried this ideal to extremes. He loved his mother and she loved him, and yet his story is rather grim. There once was a man named Oedipus Rex. You may have heard about his odd complex. His name appears in Freud's index because he loved his mother. His rivals used to say quite a bit. As a monarch, he was most unfit. Still and all, they had to admit that he loved his mother. He loved his mother like no other. His daughter was his sister. His son was his brother. One thing on which you can depend is he sure knew who boy's best friend is. And when he found out what he had done, he tore his eyes out one by one. A tragic end to a loyal son who loved his mother. He loved his mother like no other. His daughter was his sister, his son was his brother. One thing on which you can depend is he sure knew the boy's best friend. When he found out what he had done, he tore his eyes out one by one. A tragic end to a loyal son who loved his mother. So be sweet and kind of mother now and then have a chat. Buy her flowers or some candy or a brand new hat. Maybe you had better let it go at that. <laughs> or you might find yourself with an odd complex. Complex. You may end up like Oedipus. I'd rather marry a duck bill platypus than end up like old Oedipus Rex.
right, I'll do a, we're kind of on a schedule here. I have to clear the, they have to get me out of here so that I can get up there and sell those t-shirts. Well, this song is related somewhat to the last one. Mother liked her white wine when she was alive. She was desperate to live, but her limit was five. Carefully I'd kiss her, send her off to bed. We always stuck to white wine, we stayed away from red. Always stick to white wine, stay away from mother. Liked her white wine, she'd have a glass or two. Almost every single night after her day was through Salsa, Chardonnay, Chablis, Pinot Grigio Just to take the edge off, just to get the glow You got to take the edge off if you want to get the Mother liked her white wine, she'd have a glass or three. We'd sit out on the screen porch, white wine owes mom and me. We'd talk about her childhood and recap my career. When we got to my father, that's when I'd switch to beer. When we got to the old man, I'd always switch. Mother liked her white wine. She'd have a glass or four, each empty bottle, a dead soldier. The marriage was the war. When we blurred the edges, when we drank a lot, that's when I got nervous, when the glow got hot. I always get nervous when the glow gets hot. I still like my white wine, and I'll have a glass or two. When I'm down, I'll drink some whiskey. It's something I shouldn't do. Every now and then, I'll take a drop of red. When I'm with a woman that I want to take to bed. When I'm with a woman that I want to take to mother. Liked her white wine when she was alive, and she was Desperate to live, but her limit was five. Carefully I'd kiss her, send her off to bed. Thank God we stuck to white wine and we stayed away from mother liked her white wine. Thank you. Uh, the, it's speaking of great Americans, uh, this song is called Hank and Fred. I bet Fred was in this building at some point. On my way Thursday from the Y, I heard it in the car. Bob at words broke the news to me. Yes, he of NPR. Driving through Montgomery. I hung my head and cried Then visited Hank Williams' grave The day Fred Rogers died Zelda Seraph Scott Fitzgerald Lived somewhere in this old town 
that King Cole was born here. Rosa Parks stayed sitting down. Black and white, death, booze, and music genius. Courage, kindness, pride. Oh, I felt them all around me there. The day Fred Rogers died. And we mocked King Friday the 13th on Saturday Night Live. But once I started crying, it was pretty hard to drive. One New Year's Day, Hank slipped away. Slumped over in the back. Oh, I hope he had his cardigan on in that Cadillac. When you look out from the hilltops, you can see Confederate graves, and the railroad runs by the river. It carried cotton, soldiers, slaves. Hank's real name was Hiram. We all could feel his pain And Fred McFeely Rogers knew how to talk to a train And we mocked King Friday the 13th on Saturday Night Live but once I started crying, it's pretty hard to drive. Driving through Montgomery, I hung my head and cried. Then visited Hank Williams' grave. Day Fred Rogers died, I, I, I visited Hank Williams' grave when Mr. Rogers died. That's called Hank and Fred. All right, we're in the home stretch here. <laughs> I have lived a lifetime. It's hard to be believed I'm near the end Time's almost up So what have I achieved I have done And won some things Awards I have a few But the biggest prize The great surprise Is I managed to win you trophies on my mantelpiece citations on my wall accolades and autographs yes I guess I've got them all 
but all these honors don't add up to all that much it's true that the biggest prize the great surprise is i managed to win you gold records and blue ribbons bronze statuettes and plaques we all want to be winners admit it face the facts but i couldn't win what i craved the most that's the thing we all dream of it's the loving cup we long for with our names engraved in love as for my life achievement it's just a hill of beans in the end what's justified is not what it all means i have done and won some things but i lost myself who knew that the biggest prize the great surprise is i managed to find you who needs cash and prizes what i achieved is you <laughs> thank you very much that's a lifetime achievement I suppose I might get the uh, Mark Twain Award one of these days. But uh, there's an underage person here. Security! No. All right, well, I, I, think, I've, I think you've had about enough. <laughs> what, what, anybody want to hear anything in particular? Well, you know, hey, you've been a lovely group. I know you didn't, didn't cost you anything to be here. <laughs> but I'm going to put you to work now. I have a sing-along song. Yes. Number one in Little Rock, Arkansas. For six consecutive weeks. So I've always had a fantasy, this would have been 1972, that Bill and Hillary Clinton were in the back seat of a Rambler station wagon, getting it on with Dead Skunk playing on the AM radio. You know the chorus to this thing? Here it is. Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Stankin' to high hell. All right, here we go. Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Dead. That's terrible. That's better. All right. Crossing the highway late last night. You shoot a look left and you shoot a look to right. Didn't see the station wagon car. Skunk got squashed and there you are. You got a dead. What? Hey, dead skunk in the middle of the road. Staying in the high hill. Take a whiff on me. That ain't no rose. Roll up your window and hold your nose. You don't have to look. Don't have to see, you can feel it in your factory. You gotta. Louder! Come on, it's Saturday night. This guy, uh -huh. staying in the high hill. Yeah, you got your dead cat, got your dead dog on a moonlight 
night you got your dead toad frog. Got your dead rabbit, dead raccoon. Blood in the guts, gonna clap your hands. Dead scum. Oh, dead scum. Little technicolor. Oh, sing it now. One more time. You got a dead In the middle, you got pollution. Dead scum. Middle of the road, staying in a high heaven. All right. Well, uh, I don't need to tell you how weird everything is, <laughs> but I can sing about it a little bit. Uh, although I like to think that this is a rather hopeful song. Thanks for coming out again. And uh, oh, we have large, extra large, and we have those little baby things for a little for 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 grandpa and grandma. Come on, for the grandkids. Into this pitch darkness we're hurled. Where there's not a glimmer of light It's not the end of the world It's just the middle of the night And the blackest of flags is unfurled In all this absence of light It's not the end of the world, good people just the middle of the night. The middle of the night, that's what this is. If death is the real test, this is just a quiz. When gray creeps through your window, it will be daylight. The end of this darkness is almost in sight. a ball of fear you are curled and you're holding on with all of your might it's not the end of the world little sister it's just the middle of the night in the maelstrom of your mind you are swirled you're almost down the drain but not quite it's not the end of the world, my brother. Rather, the middle of the night. The middle of the night when you fear everything. But the birds will awake soon and you will hear them sing. You doubted you'd make it, not sure you'd survive. Now you're dead tired, but you're still alive. Around fate's fickle finger, we're all twirled. Small wonder, we're all so uptight. It's not the end of the world, good people. It's just the middle of the night. It's not the end of the world as we know it. It's just the middle of the night. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Thank you for joining us at the Millennium Stage. For more information about upcoming shows, please check out the Kennedy Center website or Facebook page. As we prepare for another show, we ask that you please head to the back of the seating area so we can safely put away our chairs. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening at the Kennedy Center. <laughs>